yeah, uh, this year probably didn't end the way that we, we'd hoped. Um, a lot of ups and downs throughout the year, a lot of lessons learned, um, but yeah, obviously didn't end the way we, we want. Um, so I think we'll take a lot of learnings from that and yeah, look to propel our year next year a lot further in to finals hopefully and onto bigger and better things. And personally for myself, yeah, um, good year. Um, it was good to get some continuity in my game um, and play a continuous amount of time. Haven't done that for a while. So um, yeah, no, that was, that was good. All comes back to pre-season um, and the past two years I obviously had a lot of injuries and missed quite a bit of footy there. Um, did 48% of pre-season a couple of years ago and I've done nearly the whole thing this year so definitely doing that um, put me in good stead to, to play um, and a lot of people around me helping me um, and putting time into me and believing in me and then I started to believe in myself and um, yeah that continuity of playing. Um, continuous games at that level definitely uh, allowed me to make mistakes, learn from it and feel more comfortable that I definitely belong there. Uh, there's a lot of people, um, there's a lot of people at the football club and a lot of people willing to help you. Um, people that spring to mind, Aaron Hamill has put a lot of time into me. We've bonded a lot over music and our love of music but he's definitely t uh, put a lot of time into me and, and sees something in me that I probably didn't see it myself at the start and it's definitely started to open my eyes to that um, and then uh, Brad Ebert last year we've come like good friends almost and he's been even though he's moved to the midfield always keeping an eye out on me and um, we're, we're continuously talking so th that's probably a couple from the coaching side of it um, always working with Ash Hansen as well like he's always I'm always in his office trying to uh, pick his brain a bit um, and then off field or not off field players um, Definitely like Sadi, Youngy, the friendship group that we have. Um, yeah, we've, we've built a nice little group there. Um, and I've learnt a lot off Adam playing similar roles and I love watching him go about. I get the best seat in the house to watch him take on the game. Um, and we're always talking and he's always giving me feedback. Um, and then even like Weeders and Newey and a lot of those leaders and Gov, it's been really cool to play a lot of games together and build that connection uh, and Cow as well. Like, even though he's younger than me, he's teaching me some stuff. So there's just that whole backline group, I reckon. Um, they give a bit and yeah, we've, we've definitely built a strong connection. It took a while, I reckon. It still probably isn't quite there. It's still kind of surreal to me. Um, probably started last year when um, I came back from my foot and uh, Voss is like, oh, we need you back in the team. It's about time you play. Um, and I probably personally was like, oh, I wasn't at where I wanted to be, but he had belief in me that I could definitely play at that level. And then it's just being able to play those games. Um, the longer you're out there, the more you understand it, the more belief you have, the more understanding you get and that confidence grows. Well, like everyone says I played really well that game, but I reckon the midfield just did their role and the ball stopped coming down there. So I didn't have to do too much. But um, I spoke in the preseason about what was my point of difference in the team. And that was something I was gonna chase um, being that small lockdown defender if I needed to be um, and so I went to work on that and I think yeah, again just getting exposure to that and having the confidence of my teammates that I could go get a role like that done um, and being very clear on how to, how, to, how to play that and having the support of teammates like that that Giants game the midfield turned it on in that second half and the ball stopped coming down our end so I didn't have to do too much which was nice but yeah just exposure to those roles and in pre-season, I have to play on some of our dangerous small forwards and they're some of the best in the game. So I get a lot of exposure there, which is good. Yeah, um, it's quite funny. Um, I'm fully aware that I had a statless game, um, which is quite funny and a new experience. Um, yeah, it wasn't ideal. Bit of a strange day. Um, yeah, tore with the adductor off the bone five minutes in. Um, thought I'd be okay, but definitely wasn't. Um, and then yeah, every time I came to the bench, um, someone else had gone down, so I just needed to keep going. Um, and yeah, I had, like a lot of the boys would come up to me at, on the bench, like, oh, we need you out there, we need you out there. And I was like, oh, no worries, no worries. Um, and I think I was running on a lot of adrenaline. Um, I felt pretty useless out there, but um, it was nice to know a lot of the boys there after were like thanking me for allowing them to have a rotation sort of thing. But I definitely felt strange running out there. It was one of the more stranger days. Um, but yeah, it was yeah, a bit of a challenging day. Yeah, it's been pretty cool. Um, 
I was just a no-name player a couple of years ago, um, playing my role, um, and it's, it's cool to get a lot of support from all the fans. Um, and yeah, I just feel like I just play my role and try and crack in, have, have a go, and it seems to seem that people um, really connect with that and enjoy seeing someone crack in. And yeah, I'm a bit, I don't know why. I think I, I don't know, I think it's all up to dad, the way he used to play footy. Cracked in and gives it 110 percent, which people probably can tell from those videos. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's been pretty cool and pretty special to see all all the support. Um, I was just wanting to play um, a full season without having too many injuries or having a a big break in between games, um, getting a bit of continuity and developing on whether I could be better than I was the year before. And I definitely feel like I've achieved that. Um, there's still stuff I need to work on, um, but I reckon I've hit most of those goals, um, which is pretty good, um, and I'm excited for next year. I haven't thought that far ahead yet, but again, it'll probably be completing another pre-season, um, a full pre-season, and, and seeing what happens from there, and then I'll, I'll probably start to work all that out soon. But yeah, I've been running and was hopeful to play again, um, but yeah, unfortunately that didn't work out, but we'll re rehab that now, and and be ready to go. Yeah, so I'm just rehabbing at the moment. I'll get that right. Um, and then I'm going away for a couple of weeks, which should be nice. Um, heading over to Europe for two weeks, two and a half weeks. A uh, bit of a family trip, which should be good. Um, and then, yeah, so sister moved to London, so I'll go see her, which should be cool. A couple of football games in there, hopefully. Um, and then, yeah, Italy as well with my partner, Grace. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to that. Yeah, this is not a fun time to be at home because there's not a lot for him to do. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Spotty's still going, so he's still running around the local club at the moment. They're in a prelim on Saturday. Um, so he'll be running around there. Hopefully they, they keep going because he keeps going to training on a, every Tuesday, Thursday night. Um, he's actually coming to the UK with us, so um, that'd be cool to go see my sister with mum and dad. Um, so we'll go there with him, but... Other than that, we've got to try and keep him entertained. Otherwise, he goes a bit stir crazy. I think he's painting the house at the moment. That's how, how much he needs to be doing. But yeah, we'll find something for him to do. Um, any truth to the rumours you're going to ask Bossy for some time off in July next year to watch Oasis? Definitely, maybe. Nah, I, I, I reckon there should be a league-wide buy. I, mean, I want Andrew Dillon to give every club a week off to allow us to go see that. Because half a club wants to go. Like, Oh, it's it, this is huge, yeah. I, I reckon there should be anyway. Who are the main ones? The okay. Um, a lot of the coaching staff, a lot of the older older people have, have like questioned me whether I bought tickets. I definitely didn't try. Um, <laughs> would have made me sad. I hope they come to Australia. I hope they don't punch on before then and break <laughs> up. But we'll see how we go. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I'll uh, definitely look to wear it a lot more next year. I don't know about the zinc and the long sleeve. I've got a few comments back on that after the Hawthorne game. A lot of people question me why I did that, but um, yeah, definitely.